We back, baby. Yo, it's your man, man, Dame Drops. Rocking out with you with the worst reviewed foods right here in my state, man. I greatly appreciate every last one of y'all and all you new heads out there. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Tell a friend, tell a friend that Dame Drops is back again. All right, man. Y'all know the vibes. We've been getting a lot of spots that have been rated the worst on Yelp, right? And some of them actually been bad, but a lot of them been creeping through the cracks, giving us that hot fire, son. That's what I like to see, baby. So now I want to go ahead and find out what is the worst reviewed sandwich shop in my state. <sighs> um, I happen to come across this one spot. El Poeta de los Sandwiches family. All right. They got a two and a half piece. We're going to go ahead and read some of these reviews. Hopefully, the reviews are talking about bad food, right? That's what we're checking for. I don't want to hear nothing crazy like, I ran up on the spot and paint was chipping off the building, so I'm going to give them a one. <sighs> All right, y'all, one star. So I ordered off a of DoorDash, and I called the restaurants to notify them that it's been two hours when I spoke well, their employee, she told me that she can't do anything and that it wasn't her problem, that DoorDash wasn't taking long. I asked her if she can make the food over, and she told me, no. We'll never eat again from these people, or they don't know how to take care of people. She told me she was sending the food code. Whew, all right, y'all. I, I got through that. I got through that. The reading was a little sketchy, Dutch, but I kind of get what they're saying. Um, How do you guys feel? Like, I, I want to be able to have this conversation with my foodie fam and, of course, with our new heads. After reading that, this was more of a DoorDash taking a while long to bring your food. So how would you feel if you ordered through DoorDash and it took two hours? You know, is it one of those situations where you're like, I don't want the food, go ahead and send it back? Is it you contacting the restaurant and trying to figure something out? How does that look? Hit me in the comment section below. Let's get into the next one star right after that last one. I wish I could give this no stars. Owner is highly disrespectful to her customers. I witnessed the owner rush the table beside me because she needed that table. And the customers at the table didn't even finish their food yet. On the other hand, I got my food but waited exactly one hour for one frap and wasn't a busy moment. I even watched one of her employees sit at the table on her phone while myself and others were waiting for our drinks. I thought this place would be a five out of five, but looks are very deceiving. Food is salty, garlicky, bread rips the roof of my mouth, just not what I expected it to be. First and last trip here. Don't understand why this place even exists. Holly don't recommend. Thought it was just a bad day, but after reading other reviews, it's not just me. All right. Ooh, now this is going to be a tough one, right? Because you're going into an establishment. I'm assuming that, you know, they have a few seats in there. You can go ahead and sit down. Waiting, ah, when you're dealing with customer service, waitresses, waiters, whatever the case may be, the first thing you really want to get is your drinks, if that's the availability, right? So to wait that long for a drink, ah, I, I would be a little tight too. I'm not going to even stunt. But again, take it to the comments, family, because I know how a lot of y'all get down, and I love the way you break your comments and your thoughts and your opinions down in the comment section. I've been reading them during some of y'all are wild. Some of y'all are wild, and a lot of you guys are funny, man. So you know, I, I'm definitely looking forward to reading the comments here. We're going to read one more, and then we're going to slide to El Poeta, De los sandwiches. Mm. Ah, hey, this one's a five piece. Spectacular sandwiches. We stumbled across this place because where we wanted to go was packed. What a great opportunity for us. The sandwiches were tasty and excellent. It was a great place to stop before seeing a game or a concert. Walk on in and enjoy. Now, see, that's what I like, man. You know what I'm saying? A little positivity, a little bit of sunshine to brighten up all the other dark reviews. All right, guys, sit back, relax, make yourself comfortable. We're going to slide over there to Hartford, Connecticut, and we're going to see what our own experience is about. I'm going to break down the food. Let's talk about the customer service and everything else in between. She made me a damn drops, and you know what happens next. Oh. Uh. What's going on, fam? It's your main man, Dame Drops, over here at El Puerto Sandwiches, 22 Press Street, Hartford, Connecticut. Now, we read some of them reviews, and they were talking real greasy about whoever it is that works here, owner, employees, some just sitting on their phone chilling. Uh, you're being rushed while you're trying to get your eat on and get out. Mm, it's not sound too good, man. They didn't beat up the food too bad, but they gave enough low stars to bring my behind up over here. Sit back, relax, and comfortable. You know what happens next. 
These El Poor at the sandwiches better be everything in the wedding ring, y'all. All right, fam, you already know the vibes, man. What you're looking at right now is a Kanoa at this spot for a quick appetizer. Now, it looks like that mayo ketchup combination because that is a powerful combination that you will find in some of the last spots when you go ahead and get your hungry on. But we're talking about that shredded cheese action. And let me go ahead and expose the guts. Hold on. We want to get that interior up in there. You know what I'm saying? I believe it's beef inside this plantain. Little sweet plantain action. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pop, 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 pop. I don't want to mess it up too much. I'm just, I'll just mess up one side for y'all. Ooh. All right. So you have the plantain. On the exterior, you got a little beef beef. Let's go ahead and hit this thing right here. Ooh, you see the steam coming up off of there right there. This Everything here has been made to order. So when individuals are talking about the weight in the review, don't ever complain about a weight when you got made to order action. Let's get into it. All right. Mm, cheese, beef. Mm. Ooh. Oh, that's not half bad now. I mean, you know, mm. I'm more on the beef and cheese tip. I ain't getting stump. I'm like eating inside the plantain. I'm trying to get up off into the guts one time. Ooh. Mm-hmm. That combination right there. They season this beef extremely well. I'm getting uh, sweet and savory. Light cheese action from the shredded cheese. So for the canola itself, so far we're going in the right direction. I also have some chicken over here too, player. All right, y'all, they still in the back whipping up that work, but I got that pollo frito right here, which at the end of the day is just fried chicken. Now, you know, I'm a brother. I know about some fried chicken. But just look at that right the pickup right there. That chicken looking juicy, juicy. It's looking like it's settling into its home just right, and this thing is hot too. So let me just get in the business family. But what do y'all think, man? Hit me in the comment section below. Because you see that lettuce and you see that tomato off to the side. I don't even know how that even goes with fried chicken, but whatever. Oh, and hold up. I got that sauce. That's more of that mayo ketchup combination, I'm thinking. That's what it definitely looks like. Go ahead and dip it up off in there. Mm. Go ahead and get your nibble first, family. And now I'm going to go ahead and get busy, busy. Mm. Hold on. I think it's hot, hot, too. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm. Nice tender bite in the chicken. And getting that sweet tang that you're gonna get from that mayo ketchup combination. Dipped up off in here. A light batter that matters. It wasn't fried heavily. I'm not getting a whole lot of chew. When it comes to a fried tender piece, definitely they hit this one on the mark. Ooh. Oh, that's good. That's good, good. All right, y'all. So as far as the sandwiches over here, I went and got the El Puerto Special. Now, let's go ahead and break this down. We're talking about ham, turkey, salami, and mortadella right there. Boy, now, let me go ahead and expose the guts because it's on that good bread. I love a thin bread. Not, not too much with the dough whatsoever to the meat ratio. It almost looks like a well-balanced situation up over here. I see the ketchup over there. I see a little bit of mayo. So they're going in for that zesty flavoring. But, uh... All right, family. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Mm. Mm -mm. Hmm. Wow. That bun game, thin and toasted, so tasty. The flavors are amazing here. We have a little bit of saltiness going on because of all the pork action that's within. You really don't get any kind of hints of the turkey whatsoever, but when it comes to the mortadella, when it comes to our salami, I mean, again, those combinations themselves, you're gonna get a light smokiness that's being offset a little bit by that ketchup. But that mayo, it was really bringing it full circle. Every single bite 
is a flavorful one and it gets you excited for the next bite family. But I did grab up another sandwich as well that I want to check out when it comes to the El Poeta special. This is truly something special indeed. All right, fam. I was so curious to go with something that's kind of known to everyone. You really can't go wrong with a pastrami sandwich. And this is their pastrami version right here. Let me go ahead and uh, drop the top on the convertible box. We kind of expose the guts a little bit. Again, you have your mayo ketchup situation. They love the mayo ketchup combination, but you know, you got your pastrami meat and it's not a whole lot of pastrami meat right here, but just enough to hold you over, right? So let's go ahead and get that bite right there. Family, talk to me. Talk to me in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts. This one right here looks like a flavorful boo thing. Now I never had my pastrami like this. This might be some next level action for your face piece, but boop boop. Mm. Ooh. No. Um, if we're being honest, this pastrami sandwich could actually do without the ketchup and mayo mixed in. Like it could be just pastrami mustard. Yes, because the mustard needs to cut. There's a lot of salt going on, so that mustard you need that mustard and its flavor to go ahead and cut through on the pastrami. Don't get me wrong, that pastrami is well prepared. And great flavor to it, but it really is a little off-putting with the ketchup and mayo within as far as the overall flavor. Again, this type of bread choice, the pan agua bread, which is a Puerto Rican style water bread, nice and thin. This is probably the best bread you can go with when you're thinking about creating a sandwich. And again, they were going in the right direction, just the wrong choice of condiments on this one. Me personally, some grilled onions and some mustard could really set this off. Diced grilled onions too. Dice, nah, don't, don't, don't put the whole joints in. Nah, some diced grilled onions and mustard would really set this one off in the right direction. I liked it. I loved this, which again was our El Poeta right here. I love this combination of the different meat variation. The pastrami needs a little bit of work. A few little, little small touches could really set this one off too. But we'll talk about it in Yelp. You already know the vibes, your man drops. Uh, for those of you that are new to this part of the video, this is where I go back into Yelp. We already read the reviews earlier, and now I'm going to type up my own review, give them my own star rating from my experience at El Poeta, 22 Pratt Street, Hartford, Connecticut. Let's dive on in. Before we break off into this review, just know that the operating time for this location is wrong on both Yelp and Google. They are not open every day, for they are closed on Mondays, as I quickly found out upon my initial arrival. And they open after 11. With that said, let us begin. I started with their canoas, which is basically a sweet plantain filled with some beef action, shredded cheese, oregano, pepper, garlic, and sazon. Off the top, the initial bite was a flavor-packed action movie that set my taste buds ablaze in a good way. The beef was amazingly seasoned, and though I am not a major fan of plantains, the slight sweetness was a perfect added flair within the flavor of the plantain itself that really complemented this canola's through and through. I was also curious about their El Poeta special sandwich, which is a meat-filled mini monstrosity of glee. Ham, turkey, salami, and mortadella, which is basically a large Italian sausage that is made of finely hashed or ground heat cured pork. And family, let me tell you that the first bite of this sandwich had so much flavor happening and I was impressed how it wasn't ridden with a salty flavor at all, but you did receive a nice smoky flavor profile with the variations of meat on this one. It was hearty on the bite and the addition of mayo and ketchup added for a nice tang on the afterkick here. Though the turkey bite is drowned out a bit, you will enjoy each bite and with the addition of a thin bread used to hold the sandwich together, it is pressed and grilled added a great crunch mouthfeel. I did not stop there. I also went with their pastrami sandwich and this is where the game changed up a bit. Still with the great thin bread, but the pastrami came with a stronger salt flex on the bite and here the addition of ketchup and mayo did not work. The only condiment strong enough to cut through and balance out the saltiness would have been some mustard, and it could make all of the difference to add some diced up grilled onions to this one. The pastrami itself was loaded on this pressed sandwich, but with those small changes, I think it would have been just as good as the El Poeta special. 
Yes, there will be a wait. This is not one of those quick to go restaurants. Everything is made to order and so expecting to wait for at least 25 minutes if you are the only person there makes sense. But if they have a line of folks awaiting their orders, do expect to wait a little longer. Also speaking Spanish definitely helps for the ladies behind the counter will speak some English, but it helped that I brought my boy along that could translate my order with ease. Oh, I almost forgot that I ordered some pollo frito solo, which are fry tenders with some of their mayo ketchup dipping sauce on the side. They too came out nice and hot, crispy white meat pieces that were rather juicy too, and dipping them within the sauce added some great flavor. Okay, now I'm done. All right, foodie fam, man. So again, please, Whatever comments, whatever thoughts you may have had about this location, about the food, please hit me in the comment section below, man. This is the best way for us to communicate because, again, I'm reading your comments. I'm checking them out. I'm incorporating a lot of things into future reviews. So whatever you have, pop it up there, man, because some of you guys, it's almost as if you're there with me for the way you break things down in the comment section. I love that, man. I love that about y'all for real. Um, greatly appreciate you for watching this video through and through to the end of the madness. I know a lot of these videos are like 15 plus minutes. That's a lot of time. You want to be able to get in, get in quick and get out. But when it comes to the best and worst series, those videos are longer than my fast food videos. So we're just going to go ahead and keep that in mind as well. But, uh, man, look. But a foodie fam, again, if you're new around here, stay true around here. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Tell a friend, tell a friend. Psh, Dame Drops is back again. I'm going to see you guys next video. You know the vibes.